We all know carbohydrates, proteins, and fats are the three energy sources. That's a macronutrient. We have all the micronutrients, vitamins, and you know, electrolytes, sodium, whatever you want to eat. But you always need energy comes from carbohydrate, protein, and fat. But what happens if we don't eat for more than 12, 14 hours? So we're going on a little bit more fun. Your body still needs the energy. Where is that going to come from? So that will come from the fourth energy source. The body has a bank. This is your savings account. Checking account is carbohydrate, protein, and fat. But the savings account is in the fat. And the, you cash it out and you get ketone bodies to come. So ketones provide energy when we do not eat. These were studies done in the 1950s, 60s by George Cagle at Howard. He put catheters into people's brains, kidneys, everywhere. But he did some unique studies which can, we can never do today. So he said in a fasting man, you know, if a person fasts for 24 hours over there, and he's on about 800 calories a day, but he has not eaten that person. So where is the energy going to come from? So whether you like it or not, every day we break down 75 grams of muscle. We've got a lot of muscle, depending on how fit and buff you are. And it breaks down the amino acids and it goes to the liver. Now, there is this process, as you all know, gluconeogenesis to make new glucose, and also the liver has got some stores of glycogen. It breaks it down, and in a day, if you don't eat anything or you don't, you need 180 grams of glucose. Where does it go? The CNS, the nerve, as you can see, see over there, they need about 144 45 grams. And that's here. Uh, they do it oxidatively. And about 36 grams, not many people know this, the red cell, the white blood cell, they have no mitochondria, they have no nucleus. So they cannot do a Krebs cycle. What are they going to do? They are going to do glycolysis. Without you did, you get lactate pyruvate and that is fed back over there. But as I tell, sir, the body goes to the savings account and goes to shoot. With every day about 160 grams or in the overnight fasting state is you know, broken down, FFAs goes to all the bodies, the heart, the kidney, the muscle. FFAs are also converted to ketone bodies, about 60 grams. And they go to the big, you know, guys who need it, the heart, the muscle, the kidney, over there. So during prolonged fasting, muscle has to be spared, otherwise you will not be there. At five weeks, it comes out from about 75 grams to 20 grams a day, and ketones are providing the fuel. In fact, most of us, we can starve for three months. You've got to drink water, you've got to drink salt and potassium and all that. But you can go on, except for water and electrolytes and vitamins, we have enough energy in the body. But what is the longest a human has undergone a medically supervised fasting? We all know people say the politicians go on fasting and all, but you know, somewhere you know, in the night somebody gives them something to drink and all that. It's not true fasting. This is published in 1973. 382 days. This is published. It, this was done in Dundee, Scotland. This was Angus Barbieri. He had major causes. He was 456 pounds, as you can see over there. And he lost 276 pounds in 382 days. If you can read the article, it says, you know, prolonged fasting had no ill effects. And up to day 355, he was given sodium supplements. He moved his bowels once in three weeks. But we can live that. The human body is very, uh, why? Ketones. Three of them, as you know, acetoacetate. And that, of course, is oxidized to be bilhydroxybutyrate and decarboxylated acetate. These two are the main guys. Small trivia point. C double bond O, C double bond O is a ketone body. C double bond O is a ketone body. Beta hydroxybutyrate is not a ketone body. It's C double bond O and then you have the COOH, it's carboxylic acid. But it is grandfathered in as a ketone. How are they made? Well, for that we have to go to the master metabolic uh, organ in the body, the liver. So I said during prolonged fasting, glucose will come down because you're using it from the bank. Where is the bank? Muscle is 300 grams, but muscle cannot give it to the other things. It only keeps it. It doesn't have the G6 phosphatase over there. Liver can give you 100 grams. And then after that, you want to protect your muscle. You don't want too much gluconeogenesis. Take it out from fat. 
lipolysis. It goes to the liver. And then as you know, mitochondria, CPD1, 2, the famous beta oxidation which takes place and then it forms beta hydroxybutyrate. But let me just tell you about this. HMG coenzyme A synthase 2. We all know the statins act on HMG coenzyme A synthase. That's cytoplasmic. This is sitting in the mitochondria. Only the liver has it. Only the liver can make any amount of ketones. It goes to the bloodstream and goes to the brain, the heart, the kidneys, the muscle over there, transported into the mitochondria, now in all the tissues. And it goes through, and of course they interchange depending on the redox state between acetyl CoA. And then there's this one thing called SCOT, succinyl CoA, octoacid transfer. The liver doesn't have it. It has got HMG CoA synthase. That's why the liver can make it, it cannot use it. Otherwise, it's a futile cycle. The liver is making it using it itself. Goes down, Krebs cycle, you get, depending on the fuel acetyl CoA, you get ATP. Ketones are fat derived molecules. They are a savior during fasting. Usually, ketones, I've measured mine many times, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, depending on how much carbohydrate you have. And then, if you fast for 24 hours, truly fast, so about about 2 to 3 millimoles. In fact, Human species could not have survived without ketones. We've got a big brain. The brain needs tremendous amounts of oxygen and energy. The brain is only 2%, but it consumes 20% of the oxygen. So where is that energy going to come from? I don't know if you know, our closest companion is the chimpanzee. The chimpanzee has to eat for 6 to 8 hours a day to feed that small brain and the muscles it has. We don't eat for six to eight hours a day. Maybe half an hour morning, half an hour evening or that. That's because this can, you know, needs all that over there. And we come into this world in a ketotic state. If you check the cord blood as soon as the infant is born, it's about 0 0.5 millimolar, which is what you get after one night fast. And then you know that newborn in the first week loses loses weight because it's burning up all the fat. Mother's milk in the first few days has got cholesterol. There is no galactose over there. So it's living off the fat. And within two hours, ketones goes to two millimolar. You have to fast for 24 hours. That's why infants wake up in the night. They need to be fed. They have no glucose. They want the glucose over there. And George Cahill wrote a nice thing. He said they're good medicine. And he said, ketone is not only a fuel, it is a super fuel. Why is that? Because as you know, everything depends on a stack of a two carbon. And Depending on how it comes, ketones can make more ADP out of that than fat or carbohydrates.